You always have an interesting take on what's happening in the world. First question, everyone talking about voter turnout. Did you vote yesterday? Did yes, I did. And I, I don't understand why everybody's so upset. Yeah. You know, like, what's going to happen to you? you you're going to be fine. Right. Have you like, oh, oh, what's he going to, oh, my God. <laughs> Dude, I have to say, though, him winning is the most astounding thing I've ever seen. It was a surprise. Uh, was no, it no, no, no. Surprise. Dude, like, you're talking like, like uh, Lake Placid, the Olympics, when we beat the Russian, buries that. Kurt Gibson's home run is a joke. Right. High fly ball into right field. She is gone! The Giants beat the undefeated Patriots. Manning loves it. Burris alone. Touchdown, New York! That's all a joke. Dude, the star of a reality show is going to run the country. The guy who decided if Brett Michaels or, or Cindy Lauper would make a better CEO for a company that doesn't exist. <laughs> you know, I'm a big fan of yours. I love your music. I love you. I think you're an amazing woman. Okay, Cindy, you're fired. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Dude, he is the greatest shit talker of all time. He sat at a, like a $100,000 breakfast while the president trashed him. Humiliated. Is, is Donald Trump is here tonight. The Donald. All kidding aside, obviously we all know about your credentials and breadth of experience. Um, no, seriously, just recently in an episode of Celebrity Apprentice, you fired Gary Busey. And these are the kind of decisions that would keep me up at night. Well handled, sir. Well handled. Humiliated the guy. Sits no. there, the guy totally trashes him. He's absolutely humiliated. And within like two, three years, he had that guy's job. You could never talk shit to him. He trashed me two years later, I had his job. <laughs>